Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I made that fairy costume that I wore to the Ren Fair. And if you need a last minute costume, then I think this would be really cute for a party or whatever you're doing. And it's quite easy to make. There's only one part that's very difficult. So let's get started. So first, let's go over some things you'll need. You're going to need some flowers. I got all these things from the dollar store. You're gonna need some leaves, some wires, some ribbon, a hot glue gun, or E6000 glue. So first, I took a tank top from Forever 21 and then a couple of skirts. You can layer them if you want. So you're going to take those flowers and cut off those little ends so they don't stick up. And I actually just safety pinned mine to my skirt so I could take them off later and it worked out pretty perfectly. So this is really easy to do. Moving on to the armor, tank top armor, I don't know. So you can do this two ways. The way I did it was sewing the leaves on and you just want to layer the leaves in whatever way you think looks cute. So I took different colored leaves and sewed them together so I could take them off later, but you can also glue some leaves together and glue it on a tank top if you wanna do it the really easy way because that is the simpler way to do it. And since the leaves kind of stick up, I took some E6000 glue and glued them together so they were kind of stuck and not fraying around or moving around. And then I took a clip and clipped it together so the leaves could glue together, obviously. Moving on to the flower crown, you just want to take your flowers and cut off the stems. You want the stems to be very long, and then you're going to arrange it in whatever way you think looks really good. I alternated the flowers because I wanted some more dimension. And then you're going to take this green tape, it's actually for wreath making, and you're going to wrap those stems together. And for some sparkle, this is where the wire comes in. So I just wrap the wire around the flower crown, and this also makes the crown more pliable, so you can put it on your head and it'll stay. And then for some extra extraness, you're gonna take some ribbon if you want, some decorative ribbon. I tie the ends so it's more polished, and then loop it around, and you can do as many as you want, but I only did two. And this you can go all out, but I just didn't. And there you have your flower crown. Moving on to the wings, which is the most difficult part. You're going to take some felt and cut out a wing shape that you want. I went for a butterfly looking shape, so the top is pointy and the bottom is round. And then of course you're going to cut that out and make two pieces, because obviously we need two wings. Once you have your two wings, you're going to cut out a rectangle and that's just going to connect the two wings together and then you can glue that all together. Now to make your wings more bendable, you're going to trace the outline with your wire. And this was a little bit annoying to do, but it is manageable, it is doable. And then you want to glue the wire to your wings using either hot glue to anchor it or E6000, and you can just use bobby pins to keep the wire in place. Moving on to making your wings more wing-like, I took this really cute ribbon, and you can use whatever ribbon you want, and you're going to start making those lines on the wings. I don't know what they're called, but this is where you can have fun. You can add as many as you want, and I opted for black so it stood out, and then you're going to glue the ribbon down with your hot glue gun. Before you glue everything down, it Make sure that you lay everything out, glue the smaller ones down, and then glue the long ones so that those smaller ones are underneath the long ones, as you can see here. And it makes it look really polished so you don't have to make sure that the ends are exact, they're just hiding. Now we are going to flip the wings over to the wire side, and now you're going to arrange the leaves in whatever way you want. You can cover the entire thing with leaves if you want. I didn't buy enough leaves, so I just went for the corners and the bottom, and then you just want to start gluing those things down with your hot glue gun. Really simple. And then you can take your leaves and put some accents in there, make it look really fun, like you live in the leaves, okay? 
And that is it for this fairy costume. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thought it was really fun. I hardly do DIYs, so I just wanted to share this with you. And I hope you have fun on Halloween, whether you're doing something or chilling at home. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.